Hey everyone, welcome to our video on career growth in DevOps from Simplearn. Today, we are going to break down what DevOps is and why it's a fantastic career choice. First things first, what exactly is DevOps? Imagine you are a software development team and you have just created an awesome app. But every time you update it, users experience bugs and downtime. Super frustrating, right? This is where the DevOps comes in. DevOps is a set of practices that combines software development, the dev part, and IT operations, the ops part. It aims to shorten the development lifecycle and deliver high quality software continuously. By fostering a culture of collaboration between development and operations teams, DevOps ensures smoother, faster, and more reliable updates. In this video, we'll explain why you should choose DevOps as a career, go over different job roles, and map out a clear career path for you. We'll also talk about salary potential and the many growth opportunities in this exciting field. Whether you are new to tech or have some experience, this video will give you all the insights you need to succeed in a DevOps career. Let's get started. DevOps is all about breaking down the barriers between development and operations team. It's a culture, a set of practices, and a bunch of tools that help companies deliver better software faster. Think of it as a secret sauce that makes tech companies super efficient. In the old days, developers would write a code, throw it over to the vault to the operations team, and hope for the best. With DevOps, everyone's working together from start to finish, and everyone's on the same page. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Now, you might be wondering why should I choose DevOps as a career? Well, buckle up because I've got some compelling reasons for you. Number one, high demand. DevOps skills are in high demand. Companies are constantly looking for professionals who can bridge the gap between development and operations because they've realized it's the key to staying competitive in today's fast-paced tech world. Number two, versatility. DevOps roles offer a lot of versatility. You get to work on a variety of tasks from coding and scripting to managing infrastructure and improving security. Number three, broad skill set. DevOps allows you to develop a broad skill set, including automation, cloud computing, containerization, monitoring, and security. This diverse skill set enhances your marketability and opens up various career paths within tech industry. Number four, innovation. If you love innovation and problem solving, DevOps is for you. You'll be at the forefront of new technologies and practices. And number five, job satisfaction. Many DevOps professionals report high job satisfaction due to the dynamic and impactful nature of the work. Now, let's map out a typical DevOps career path. Remember, everyone's journey is unique, but this should give you a general idea. Start with the basics. Learn the basics of programming, networking, and system administration. Languages like Python, Ruby, and scripting skills are crucial. Then, get certified. Certifications like AWS Certified DevOps Engineer, Google Professional DevOps Engineer, or Azure DevOps Engineer can give you a competitive edge. Next, gain experience. Work on real-world projects. You can start with internships or entry-level positions to build your experience. And then keep learning. DevOps is an ever-evolving field. Stay updated with the latest tools and technologies and continuously enhance your skills through courses and certifications. And lastly, network. Join DevOps communities, attend meetups, and connect with professionals in the field. Networking can open up new opportunities and insights. Now let's talk about how your career might progress in DevOps. Trust me, it's an exciting journey. Junior DevOps Engineer. So generally, you start as a junior DevOps engineer, learning the basics of automation, CI-CD pipelines, and infrastructure as a code. DevOps engineer. With experience, you move up to a DevOps engineer role, taking on more responsibilities like managing large-scale deployments and monitoring systems. Senior DevOps engineer. So as a senior DevOps engineer, you lead projects, mentor junior team members, and work on optimizing the entire DevOps lifecycle. Then comes Lead DevOps Engineer or Lead DevOps Manager. So eventually you can become a Lead DevOps Engineer or a Manager 
overseeing teams, strategy, and the implementation of DevOps practices across the organization. But then everyone has a different starting point, right? You might be a total fresher or a software developer or even a network engineer. So now we will see what your career progression will look like according to your current job roles. So number one, systems administrator. So if you start as a systems administrator, you're already skilled at managing and maintaining IT infrastructure. Transitioning to DevOps involves learning about automation tools like Ansible, Chef, or Puppet, which help in automating routine tasks. You'll also need to get familiar with CI CD, which is continuous integration, continuous deployment pipelines, which streamline the process of integrating and deploying code changes. Your experience with servers, networks, and troubleshooting is incredibly valuable because in DevOps role, you'll be automating infrastructure management and ensuring smooth deployments. Next, software developer. So starting as a software developer gives you a strong foundation coding and development practices. So to move into DevOps, you'll want to learn more about CI-CD tools, such as Jenkins, Circle CI, or GitLab CI. So these tools help automate the integration process and deployment of code changes. Additionally, you should get comfortable with infrastructure as a code tools like Terraform, which allow you to manage your infrastructure using code and cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. Now your development skills are crucial for automating processes and integrating development and operations workflows seamlessly. Next, test automation engineer. So as a test automation engineer, you already have expertise in testing frameworks and automation. So transitioning into DevOps will involve expanding your knowledge to include continuous testing within CI-CD pipelines. You'll also need to learn about Docker for containerization, which makes it easier to manage and deploy applications, and Kubernetes for orchestration, which automates the deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. So your background in ensuring code quality and automating tests is key to maintaining the reliability and performance of applications in a DevOps environment. Next. Network engineer. So starting as a network engineer means you have a deep understanding of networking, security, and infrastructure. So moving into DevOps will require you to learn about automation tools and scripting languages like Python or Bash. So you should also familiarize yourself with cloud networking services and software-defined networking. Your skills in managing and optimizing network performance will be crucial for creating scalable and secure DevOps practices. So in DevOps, you'll be automating network configurations and ensuring that the infrastructure supports the rapid development and deployment cycles. So now let's talk about money. So the good news is that DevOps professionals are in high demand. So that translates to some pretty good salaries. So according to recent data from Glassdoor, the average base salary for a DevOps engineer in the US is around $107,000 per year. And that's just the average. Experienced pros can easily command up to $150,000 or more. So of course, salaries vary depending on factors like location, company size, and your level of experience. So finally, let's explore the growth opportunities in DevOps. And let me tell you, they are pretty exciting. So as already discussed, one of the great things about DevOps is its versatility. You can specialize in areas like cloud computing, cybersecurity, or artificial intelligence. As technologies like Kubernetes and machine learning become more prevalent, DevOps pros who understand these areas are in high demand. Now, you might also find opportunities to move into management or consulting roles. Many companies are just starting their DevOps journey and need experienced professionals to guide them. There's also a growing need for DevOps in non-traditional tech sectors. Finance, healthcare, and even government agencies are adopting DevOps practices, opening up new frontiers for career growth. Lastly, sharing your knowledge through teaching, writing, or creating online courses can also be a rewarding career path. Also, if you are looking forward to make a career in DevOps, definitely check out Simply Learn's professional certificate program in Clouds Computing and DevOps. This comprehensive course offers in-depth learning with a thorough understanding of cloud computing principles and DevOps practices, guided by expert instructors with real-world experience. You'll engage in hands-on projects and real-world scenarios, building a robust portfolio that showcases your skills. Plus, the program is designed to help you gain industry-recognized certifications, making you a standout candidate to the job market. Don't miss the opportunity to advance your career and stay ahead in the ever-evolving tech landscape. Check out the course link in the description box and pin comments. So, the key to growth in DevOps is to never stop learning. This field is always evolving and the most successful DevOps pros are those who evolve with it. 
So there you have it, folks. Whether you are a seasoned IT pro looking for a change or a newbie trying to break into tech, DevOps offers an exciting and rewarding career path. Remember, in DevOps, the only constant is change. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.